out. Whatever. We will see. Oh, what one? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Good. Mm, we are learning about a competitive advantage. Competitive advantage. Stanley, what is the purpose of the strategy management? To create and sustain competitive advantage. Good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Rachel. Rachel. So, why is the competitive advantage? So that's the purpose of the strategy. Okay. In order to win without fighting, okay, we must have this, okay, and then the, the purpose of the strategy management is we create and sustain the competitive advantage. What is competitive advantage? Hmm? What is competitive advantage? Five, do you remember five elements? According to the art of war, oh, five elements, what are those five elements? Tao, Tian, Wu, sure, okay. Hmm? 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 Ah, ah. Okay. According to the art of war, these five factors are competitive advantage, okay, good, nice, maybe you can understand uh -huh, what is this. However, we are business problem server, business, okay, business, what is the purpose of business? Making money. Okay. How we can use this to make money? Dao. What is Dao? What is Dao? Visa, visa, fun. What is Dao? In terms of money, in terms of oh, we want to make money. How we can create and sustain Dao? Can you tell us something? Moro. Moro is related to the money. Do I need to be ethical? Do I need to be moral in order to make money? Do you think so? So then, how we can interpret this as this to make money? Uh huh. Okay. And these are tong. Tian. How we can use tian to make money? It's tong. <laughs> oh, okay. Probably, maybe we can. <coughs> And the environment of the <coughs> So, knowing the environment of something is make money. No, that is related with not to lose. Uh -huh. uh, what is the purpose of business? Strategy management is a part of the business. Business should be able to make money. Then, what's the health <laughs> Okay, so that is the reason why we need a bridge for the more 
practical or working knowledge. What the hell is the competitive advantage? Okay. Oh, absolutely, maybe. What is this? Hmm? What is this? Christina. Huh? Oh, Jung 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 What is Jung 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 Okay, so if we have this kind of a competitive advantage, maybe we can win without fighting and then we can be able to make money. However, how? What? What the hell is the competitive advantage in business? That was the question. Mm -hmm. Working knowledge is different. We know that we understand that there are different levels of the knowledge. Anyway. So that's not easy to understand what the hell is the competitive advantage. Hmm. Hmm. Eddie, what is how? Can you tell me? Model, ethics, what is how? Anybody can tell what the exactly the meaning of the style? Anybody? Probably we are not that person. Or we are not a philosopher. Okay. Even though, even though there is an expert or the philosopher or the PhD of the Oriental philosophy or the Chinese philosophy, something they cannot tell what is the Tao because that's a concept. This is a conceptual understanding. That we cannot tell. This is a <coughs> this is a wisdom, not a practical knowledge or the something insight. So we don't know. We cannot tell how we can bridge this kind of the skill compared to advantage with money. Okay, so in business. We are not that kind of the philosopher. Personally, we don't care about the philosophy. Why? If I can make money, why I wouldn't do if I can the ethics? I don't care. Do you care about the ethics? Do I need to care about take care of the ethics? Do I need to be more at? Do you think that the, we should be moral, we should be ethical to make money? We talked a little bit before. Uh, no. Probably. Okay, but however, the, we learn about the business ethics. We talk a lot about the ethics. Whatever. Basically, in business, we don't know. It depends. Depends on the situation, whatever. So then, how we can interpret this kind of conceptual things into business? So then, there are tons of the different ways to explain the bridging the concept of the competitive advantage to business. And here, I would like to suggest two big approaches. First approach is IT grid, resource based to your approach. Second, yeah, Dr. Jerry shows what you do, technical approach. Mm, don't do it. So we will see. It's not easy to transform this kind of con conceptual understanding into the practical of working knowledge. We will see. First, resource based to view. This is a traditional, this is a traditional conceptual understandings about competitive advantage in business. How we understand the resource-based view? If we have resource, if 
including the tangible resource or the intangible resource. If that resource is like this, first, that resource must be valuable. Absolutely. Second, that resource must be rare or scarce. Third, if that resource is difficult to imitate. Or duplicate. First, difficult to present substitute. Then we call this system scarce resource. Only when we have this kind of conditions, okay, we can define this is a that this is a resource that we need in order to win without fighting in order to make money. And that is a traditional view to the strategy management in terms of the competitive advantage resource. Especially for the rare resource, valuable resource, rare resource, difficult to imitate, to replicate, or the difficult to be substituted. We define that is a valuable scarce resource. When we have this kind of a resource, okay, then we can make more money. Uh -huh. We can win without fighting. We can win without fighting. Okay, so let's think of this cash. Hmm. Do you love do you love cash? I love cash. Do you think that the cash is valuable? Hmm? Cash is valuable. Cash. Cash. Do I have cash? Okay, cash <laughs> here. Yeah, cash. Do you think that do you want to get it? Oh, absolutely. Why? Why do you want to get it? Cash is valuable. Okay. Cash is rare. Not rare? Do you have how how much how how many cash do you have? <laughs> do you have it? Do you have a lot? Cars rare. And cash is easy to copy. Money is big, okay? Cash can be substituted by something else like a gold. Okay. So that's the reason why the cash is resource. If you have cash, you can be without profit. Do you think so? Money calls always. You know that, okay, it, it is slight, this is a business slam. Money talks. Especially cash and talks. If you have more money, you can win without fighting. Cash. Okay, so this is an example of a tangible resource. Tangible. Okay, so if if you get a piece of that. Okay, good. Second, another example. Another example. Resource, okay, good. And however, how? What about as a human? Human work, labor. Engineer, CEO. Human is a resource. Or oh, human is not a resource. Oh, there is a big, big debate. There is a big debate about this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nicole, do you think that a human can be a resource? 
like of money or a like of food, like a wool, like a natural resource, or a like of another something. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, this is the core of the strategy management. Human. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Nicole, you say human can be a resource. That means you can use the human to make money. Okay, good. And then on the other hand, if humans are not usable, you can abandon this. If somebody do not work well, you can fire at any time. Okay, thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. like a tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And if some, you, okay, so I worked more than 10 years with my friend. However, she or he does not work well because many reasons, family issues, personal issues, something, 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 or other medical issues, health issues. And then almost immediately, can I fire her? Should I fire her? Because she doesn't help me to make more money? It depends. It depends. It's a connection between one of my friends. The advantage is greater than the loss. So I was real, um, maintain the relationship with my friends. Oh, absolutely no, no value. In that case, anytime you fire, you just disconnect. Possible. Do you want to do that? Okay, that's one. That's one option. That's one option. Okay. On the other hand, is there anybody? Okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Amelia. Do you think that we can treat the people like a machine? No. Do you want to treat the people like a human? Okay. Human is a human. So then we must take care of the human. We must keep them as a family member or as a somebody. And what if they, they what if a individual is not working well. Should I keep them? No. And what if somebody do not add no add value? No value add. Do I need to keep that individual within my company? Oh, so then you treat the people like replicable or replaceable or a substitutable something resource. Uh -huh. Okay, so then here is a two, you know, two deep different paradigm. Okay, so first, yeah, fortunately or unfortunately, I experienced both. Human is human. We must treat the people like humans, and we must treat the people like family member, or that we must treat the people well. That is flourishing in. Europe, Asia, Euro-Asia, Euro-Asia model. For example, in China, if something is wrong at the company, is it easy to fire somebody? 
If you want to fire more than 70% of the workforce, it feels that the, your, your business is not going well. Is it possible in China? No, not possible. Why that is not possible? Because we have many regulations. Why we have that kind of a labor law and labor regulations? Because we fundamentally believe human cannot be of resource. Human is human. In Europe, same. Okay. In Germany, in France, in England, not England. Okay. Not England. Okay. France, Germany, and many of the continental Europe countries, not easy to fire somebody, even though that the business is getting worse. We call that it's a Eurasian model because if we believe our society has a women, we must treat our people like human beings. However, do you think that, okay, especially in Asia, we treat our employees well? Do we treat our employees well? Do we really take care of our employees in Korea, in China, in Japan, in Malaysia, in Singapore, in Indonesia? Unfortunately, no. Oh, uh -huh. that's a contradictory something, okay? Because a few number of the paradigm Euro Asian models, we believe in the human value, but however, the we devalue our human contradiction. On the other hand, we can treat the people like tools or cash. For example, we call this is Anglo American model. For example, in the US, Chase Manhattan or the, or the you know, the large bank or the many of the companies, if they think their business will get down or their business will get in trouble, for example, when they have a pandemic situation, COVID 19, what happened? Almost all the business laid off their people. They fired tons of millions of the people first because they know to be just a force. That's what their model. They treat the people like resource, tool. And they just think that the people can be replicable and that they can utilize it the people like machines. And then they use people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. However, do you want to work for Huawei? Do you want to work for Google? In terms of the working condition, in terms of the working environment, in terms of the working condition, do you want to work at Google? Do you want to work at Huawei? Do you want to work in Samsung or do you want to work in Facebook or the Tesla? Oh, I prefer to choose American because at the day so they give more salary, they give more compensation, they give me the stock option, they give me a lot of the a lot of the employee benefits, pension fund, what, and then especially the many American business the American managers, they are kind. They always take care of me and they push the hard they listen to you and they take care of our employees. Why? Because you are the valuable resource. If you make money for me, that is valuable. Okay? Okay. Here, everybody wants to get this. Why? Okay. <laughs> Why? Keys. Money. Do you want to? Do you want to get it? Do you want to have it? Sure. Because he can. If he can make more money for me, he is my money. Absolutely, I would treat him as my precious money. Resource. 
Hmm. Okay. However, if there is no money, okay. I treat people like valuables, like money, like cash. If you make money for me, I will treat you well. If you do not make money, I'm buy up. Easy, simple, how? Okay, so this is flourishing in Anglo-American model, UK, US. Australia only a bit. However, that's very rare. And do you know that the root? Yeah, we, I am teaching the, yeah, the American style something, American, American business something, yeah, Anglo American. Okay, so for me, you are my cash. You are my resource. You are my most valuable cash. So I better to bring you the. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> okay, so valuable resource, cash. We want everybody want to have that. So we can treat the people like valuable resource as well. Uh-huh. Everybody want to have the valuable resource. Possible paradox. Even though Euro Asian model believe that we must treat people like people, okay? Many times, paradoxically, we treat people like undervalued something. While in UK or the US, they treat the people like resource tools. Whenever they have a chance, they are ready to fire somebody. They mistreat the people. However, if people make money for you, they treat you like cash. Which one is better? Nobody knows. That's a choice. That's a choice. There is no right and wrong. Anglo-American model like a human resource is good. Powerful, but however, is it always right? No, that makes a lot of trouble. However, right. but you know, treat the people like human beings, and is it good always? No. Why do you have a jerk? You have an asshole. You have an enemy vampire within your company who do not make money. However, he just consume your business. It depends. Okay, so according to resource-based view, mm -hmm. traditional resource-based view strategy management, if that resource is valuable, rare, hard to find, and the difficult to imitate or replicate, or the difficult to substitute, that is so then. So our aim to creating and sustain the competitive advantage is we create and sustain that valuable resource. That is all. That is a strategy made. So if we can create and sustain the valuable resource, which have this kind of characteristics, we can win without fighting too much money. Simple. Lovely. Easy to understand, but hard to make it happen. Hard to make it happen, really. Okay, so we will go forward, and then you are familiar with the five tools of the internal analysis and the so on and the value school product. We, we go forward. It's a space to view, mm -hmm. absolutely. However, this source is one thing. This source is one thing. Even though you have a cash and uh, can you create more cash? Okay, you have, you have cash. Okay, so then can you make more cash with this? Possibly, absolutely cash talk and money talks. However, here is another problem. Resource, having more resource is always good. Having more money is always good. True? No. 
For example, hmm, if you invest $100 million, $100 billion into Huawei, how much money you can make? And on the other hand, if you invest $100 million to Apple, how much money, how much money you can make? Do you want to invest in Huawei? Do you want to invest in Apple? Okay, why? Because your money make more money when you invest in Apple. Why? Why? Same money, you invest the same money, $1 million, $100 million, same money, same money invest in different company, Apple or Huawei. Why do you want to choose Apple? Because they can make more money. We call that is all organization of capitalism. Those who, who the company or organization can make more money, I definitely will invest in. Okay. Just having money, not enough. We should be able to make more money throughout our organization of capital. So, long story short, in order to make the competitive advantage, okay, in order to make a more competitive advantage, we need to have core competencies. Core competencies is composed with resource plus organization capital. Okay, so a long story short, competitive advantage is simply can be represented by function of resource. If you have more resource, you have a better chance to win. However, if you have more capabilities, okay, you can have more win. For example, now we have an example that we have a good example of that kinds of things. Function, function of this. Okay, Russia and the Ukraine, they are not fighting, they have a war now. Okay, who is now winning? We cannot define that. This is now still going on. However, one thing is clear Russia had much more resource, right? They have they have they have made they have much more better weapons and the cars and the tank or the military, something they have much more people. They have much more resources. Well, however, why they are not dominating? Why Russia do not dominate? Huh? Because of this. They are not ready. Especially in the operation. In terms of the operation, mm -hmm. they are not ready. And especially for the skill, knowledge, skills, and ability. Unfortunately, Many Russian soldiers, just a 21 or a 22 years old man, male. Good. How old are you, Gerald? 23. Jack, how old are you? 23, 22. 21, 22 years old Russian man. Go to work now. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to find? Don't say so. That's what it's not. We need a plan. We need a skill. We need to run. And it takes more than six months to be a general, basic soldier. And however, if you want to become a special force, it takes more than two years. Oh, I can tell. I was a soldier. Sure, it takes time. It takes a lot of investment. But not ready. Having the resource, weapons, tank, more air strikers, helicopter, a lot of weapons. That's one thing. Operating is different. We need both. This can be represented by money, this can be represented by people. Money and people. Okay. Or competencies or other competitive advantage come from money and you know the people's at the same time. Okay, that's the four competencies. Okay, that's the conceptual model. Good. And 
Let's see the more detailed definitions of the list of space to view that is defined by the that, that is proposed by Collis and Montgomery, Stanford University professors. Stanford, yeah, whatever. Good. So they define according to the resource space to view, IBV. This is a strat, this is a fundamental foundational understanding about it, the strategy manual. According to the resource base, we are organize and respond to the external opportunities such as customer's market and the technology by developing the internal capabilities, which cannot be replicated by other competitors, scars, and reserving the breakthrough product in demand and can be protected through the patent or another factor. That is a IBV approach. IBV. Okay, good. And a long story short, we must be able to create and sustain the scarce resource. Scarce resource means the resource must be valuable, the resource must be sparse, rare, and the resource, the, that resource must be different limited, that resource must be different good. Okay, so then from understanding of the external opportunity as an internal capability, we must combine these two uh, in order to create, in order to utilize the scarce resources in order to make money to win without fighting. That is a IDV approach. You know, I'm sorry that is a conceptual understanding. Okay. However, long story short, let's try to make everything as a valuable resource, rare resource, difficult to imitate and difficult to substitute. We can change. For example, cash. 100, okay, 100 I, if I have 100 million I, okay. How we can make that 100 million I be more than, <coughs> how we can make the 100 million I be more how we can make the 100 million RMB difficult to imitate or the replicate? How we can make our money more difficult to solve? For example, you are now fighting against with the dollar. Do you want to have RMB or dollar? Yeah. Why? Or or that? So, do you want to make the Chinese RMB more valuable? Hmm. How do you do that? Same situation. Okay. Absolutely. We can be able to transform and improve the value of the resource. Rare, make it rare and difficult to be imitated, difficult to substitute. Now, RMB can be easily substituted by other. Right? However, why dollar is more hard to substitute? Oh, power, the money power. Why dollar is not easy to imitate or replicate? Do you want to do you want to have a dollar or RMB? Do you want to have the dollar or the Russian rule? Dollar is scarce. Mm, do you know that China has the one of the most biggest debt? Investor of the Chinese the American dollar, can you use that dollar? RMB is more valuable than the dollar. Do you want to keep the RMB or do you want to buy the dollar now? Same. Almost everything we must be able to transform, we must add more value to any kind of the resource, even. Do you know why we invest a lot of training, invest in training, development, and education for <coughs> our next generation? We want to make you more valuable. Hard. hard to replicate, hard to solve. That is only one way to make people more resourceful. Mm -hmm. Any single okay. case, any part, any material, and even 
many people, we must be able to increase value. Mm, anything possible. Anything must be possible. Good. Possible. Computer. Possible. Human. Great. Possible. Artificial intelligence. Possible. Almost everything. Almost tangible, intangible to any resource. We must be able to make that better. So, technically speaking, training management is nothing according to the resource space view. We must make this resource more valuable. Where? Difficult to imitate, difficult to substitute. I want to make this RD more valuable. Can we do it? Really? I'm serious. Do you want to make your item be more valuable? Hmm. Because if you make that item be more valuable, well, you will have a better chance to increase your wealth. I don't want to lose. Okay, and the Americans want to make dollars more valuable. We fight. And nowadays, something is happening in Japan. Japanese yen, Japanese money is now great. Mm, that's the Japanese economy will. Because they lose their competitive advantage. Hmm. Anyway. So core competencies come from the combination of the resource and organizational capability. What kinds of resource? Mm, tangible resource and intangible resource. Organizational capability, mm, we will see. Tangible resource, absolutely. That must be tangible. That must be touchable. Touchable. Okay. Do you want to touch? Touch. Boom. So that, that's all. Tangible resource. Financial resource is a tangible resource. And the physical plant, what equipment, what the machines, that kinds of things is tangible resource. Technology, innovative productions, and the production lines, that is tangible resource. You can see, you can touch. Real estate, land. Can you touch the land? Oh, sure. Tangible. Okay, on the other hand, intangible resource is skill, knowledge, ability. Can you touch your knowledge? This is knowledge. No, this is my brain. This is my knowledge. Nobody can teach them. Nobody can touch the knowledge. And skill. Can you touch the skills? No, intangible resource, human skills and play. competencies, intellectual property, patent, brand, marketing, and ambulance. Nike. Now, can you touch the brand of the Nike? Can you touch the Nike? Brand? No. Can you touch the Coca Cola? Product? You can do that. How about brand? No. Marketing. Mm -hmm. And the innovation and creativity, power or skills or capability. No. Privileged relationship, supply chain management or customer relationship management. How about the one sheet? Can you touch one sheet? Mm. Or do you believe that uh, you can make money from one sheet? More than 70% of your money comes from the relationship. It's not true. No. How you make money? More than 70% of money comes from the social relations. Really? Okay. Customer relations. So, branching management. Relations. Social relations. However, right. can you touch the quality of your social relationship? Social relationship with your father, with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, and the social relationship probably with your mom. 
social relations with your professor, teacher, social relations with your colleagues. Oh, can you touch? However, you know that's important. That is an intangible resource. Tangible resource is one thing, intangible resource is whatever. Resource input. However, that is not enough to create <laughs> sustainable competitive advantage because we must be realize that value. Realize. Realize this value. Okay, good. How we can realize that? Capability, organizational capability. Okay. What is the capability? Knowledge, skills, ability. For example, new product development capability. Oh, so sooner or later, iPhone 14 is coming. iPhone 14. And then, and probably within the thing, oh, no, no, now. So we are now having the I, no, no, and that folks, that folks, that folks, that folks to you, not to you. Next to you, let me next to you. Okay, so how we can develop that kind of a new product? Do you want to buy the Tesla, Tesla, Tesla electric vehicle, or do you want to buy the BYD, BYD, BYD electric vehicle? Tesla versus BYD. Next to you, huh? Next to you, huh? Okay. Do you want to buy the BYD or do you want to buy the Tesla? Tesla or BYD? BYD. BYD? Mm. Why? I'm Chinese. Okay, okay. So that, so if the if the price is the same and the no brand, no brand company. However, do you know that Tesla is produced in China? Okay. Whatever. Okay. I respect your choice. That's that's important. Okay. So I respect your choice. However, if that is if that is the same price and if you don't care about the brand itself, then however, so one thing clear, Tesla is produced to be in China. So that, that technically speaking, there is a Chinese Chinese brand, Chinese Chinese product product. Right. So that why do you, why why many people want to buy the Tesla? Then uh, another another distribution because new product quality R&D development absolutely that's why it's now leading to innovation uh, and the operational excellency mm -hmm. do you remember the BUM BUM you don't must be we must reduce our cost well operational excellence that is a capability. And marketing sales force management, absolutely. That's a management of course, management capability. MA and the strategy alliance, oh, management. Or this kind of the organic capability is related with the management. What kind of management? Managing money? Oh, money, money. Managing. Always management, we manage money, we manage people. We manage money, tangible resource, intangible resource, between intangible resources. Between. All right, this is money. Absolutely, if you have more money, you can you can have this kind of thing. However, you must be able to manage people well. How we can exercise knowledge, how we can exercise and realize our skills. How we can realize our capability, we must be able to encourage people to work. Okay, work, work, work. That's the only one way to unleash the capability. Mm, simple, okay. A long story, always don't make it complete, don't, don't get complicated. In business, we manage money or people. That's it. We are, we are I am introducing a ton of different things of tangible resources. <laughs> we manage money, we manage people. 
No more taxes. Why? Because I want to make more money. Well, for the business problems. Why is business problem? I want to increase revenue. I want to do both. That's it. Same. Strategy management is a part of the management, and the management is under the business. What is the purpose of business? We want to make more money. How we make money? We want to increase revenue. We want to decrease cost. No matter what, is it easy? No, that's not easy. That's the, our business problem. In order to address our business problems, simple. We manage money. We manage. That's what we have. The other things, ethics, finance, accounting. Oh, if there is a helping me to identify what is my money problem, I will know. Business analysis, artificial intelligence. If that can help me to address my problem, I will use it. If that does not help me, what can I do? I don't need you. Okay, good. And this is these are the examples of the core competencies. Competitive advantage, for example. Yeah, this is somewhat old fashioned. Company Sony. What is the competitive advantage of the Sony? Fast cycle, new product development, miniaturization of the product and the component. Sony was good at making more, everything small. Okay, now, now. Before the digital transformation, okay, before the 21st century, Sony was the top of the top company. They are very good at making anything smaller. Oh, MacBook, laptop, they were good at making anything smaller, lighter, smaller, more functional with the same size. However, after the digital transformation, Sony. And do you know that the what is the main product of Sony now? How they make money? Sony? Ryan, do you know Sony? Sony, what is the main business of the Sony now? Different products, for example, electric electronic devices. Cell phone. Sony cell phone. Have you ever seen the Sony cell phone? Uh, no. Do you have nowadays? Have you ever seen the Sony TV? Have you ever used that the Sony electric devices, electronic devices nowadays? Mm, what? TV. Oh, okay. So that's old. Oh, that must be old. And the Sony car. Sony. Okay. <laughs> Or unfortunately, now the biggest cash cow or the biggest function of business function of the Sony is Sony features, movie, and then entertainment business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, interestingly, miniaturization technology gone. However, they are good at fast cycle of the new product development, like what? Pictures, drama. Uh -huh. You will be surprised at the, how much money they make in the Sony pictures. Sony is not an electronic company anymore. Sony is an entertainment company, content company. Oh, anything so happened the last 20 years. Nike, product design, marketing, supplier management. Okay. Oh, just in front of our campus, okay, there is a CPS. Do you know that the CPS was the, one of the biggest suppliers of Nike? Do you know the CPS or the CPS company? In front of our campus, there is a CPS. A shoe company that they, they produce a shoe. And then they work. And that CPS was a, one of the largest Nike producer, supplier. Oh. CPS, we are over there, over there. <laughs> when, when you go to the China, okay, so we have to see that on the right side, there is a CPS. CPS company. CPS, CPS, shoes company. And the window is well known for the shoes manufacturing. And then Nike was one of the largest, largest, largest customers. 
Anyway, many things are gone. Okay, good. And then they are good at supply management. What is the meaning of the supply management global supply chain? They were good at country. Nike was good. Nike is very good at country. And they they gone, they gone from the China and they are now going to Vietnam, Malaysia, Bangladesh. They torture people at the mm -hmm. Lower supply chain, they are good at Nike is very good at supply chain management, lower supply chain management outputs. Walmart, integrated logistics supply chain management. And the main I expect is that okay, so Amazon will kill Walmart. Is it happening? No. It is not happening. Do you know that the Walmart is in within Venjo? Ever been into the Walmart in Venjo? Anybody? Anybody went to the Walmart in Venjo? Oh, Walmart. Okay. So, so are you happy at there? Yes. Walmart? Oh, you're absolutely. I was happy. And why you were happy at the Walmart in Venjo? They supply very product. Oh, nice product. The kind of from another place. Oh, absolutely. So, Walmart is my company. Walmart is a lot, and Walmart is very good at make customers happy, especially the quality of the meat, quality of the beef or pork, quality of the nice fresh meat. Good, nice. They're very good at sourcing their campus. Nice, oh, nice. Walmart is good at supply chain management. <coughs> what? Okay, and Honda, and this power train dealer management, and power Honda is now dying. Nekinji, business consulting, con uh, business consulting. Why, why, well, why they are very good at management consulting? We call that as a management coaching. If you are CEO, CFO, or if you are business decision maker, have business problem, they usually secretly, confidentially, Hey James, can you help me? Hi Tom. Hi Jamie, can you help me? And they pay off. For example, okay, so many body of many body hold about this kind of the word. Industry 4.0. Chris, Chris, uh, have you ever heard about the industry 4.0 or the industrial revolution 4.0? No. Industrial revolution 4.0. 4.0. Okay. No, never. In, in uh, industry 4.0. Uh, 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 no, not in the internet. Internet third. IT third, third wave of the industrial revolution. Have you ever heard about the industrial revolution force? Force the industrial revolution. Who first use it? Who first invent or the uh, suggest that? Who really invent? Who started to use that the term of the industrial revolution? Internet or the internet. Okay, why well, who first introduced the industry for industry 4.0? Can you catch? Who first introduced such as the industry 4.0 or industry revolution 4.0? Where? Internet. Who first introduced the industry 4.0? Yeah, 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 
Who first acquainted the tongue? Germany, okay, so who? Who? German government? No. <laughs> no. Who? Claude Schwab. No. Actually, he he wrote a book. He wrote a book. Industrial Revolution for Point He wrote a book throughout Germany on campaign. On campaign. He, he wrote that to look throughout the old theory about happening in the bottom part of the German, German company. Uh, what that company? Who first used, who first introduced that concept of the industry portfolio? A long story short, industry portfolio is integrating a new technology like the IT cloud service or the many kinds of old tool to automate. So a long story short, industry portfolio concept is cook in the 4.0 is we want to make all the operations of our process as fully automated process and we want to make the fully network process we work okay we want to make all the process must be fully automated, fully networked, internet, cloud, quantum networking, whatever networking, and the 5G network, the 6G network, whatever, and the fully automated artificial intelligence, the IoT, and the supply, fully automated the machines like the, the, the non non human driving cars. So we have to achieve that two goals. Okay, so we work a lot to realize this. And we call that as an industry for point zero. Who introduced that? Klaus Schwab. Oh, he's a writer. Yeah, he was a chairman of the WBF World Economic Forum. However, he observed one company in the southern part of the Germany. What's the company? Why they did that? Go to the internet. Bah! Internet? Software. Software company? India? No. India? 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 Intel? No. That concept, Industry 4.0, was introduced in Germany. A German company proposed it. A German company. What company? Siemens. Ah, uh, no. Siemens. <laughs> no. And oh, where am I work? Where I must work? Where I work? In German company. I worked at there for 16 years as an IT engineer. Bosch is the one of the largest companies in the world that produces the automotive part and the many technology devices. However, uh, one day our our CEO, uh, what was his name? Uh, Klaus, uh, Klaus. Uh, uh, Dietri, uh, Dietri, Dietri, I, what, what was his name? I don't know what his name is. Dietri, uh, what was his name? Hans, something. Okay. okay, so at the time, the Bosch. CEO and then K4 division, the CEO and the business division, the business division, division manager, and then they worried about their future and then they want to make our all, they want to make more money. Absolutely, they want to make more money. But the Bosch, we are the best in the efficiency. We are the best in the efficiency. Okay, absolutely. So our productivity is for the top, always. We make our best efficiency in the world. 
Okay, good. All right. So something is happening. The play is coming. Everything is changing every time, and then everything is challenging. So then our CEO and the Bosch CEO and the Vital Vital Division CEO, they talk a lot about it. What is the problem of this? What is our problem? That was happened in 2004. And they couldn't find a way. Hmm. We cannot, we cannot find a way to increase revenue, decrease cost better because we are the best. So unfortunately, they didn't have a better idea, so that they call. They call the connecting the And the headquarter of the Bosch is located in the Stuttgart. And from the Stuttgart to McFrankfurt, that's up over the recruits. They hire and they call best McKinsey consultant. Hey, McKinsey, help us to find a way to increase revenue to decrease force. And then McKinsey got that. And then they propose this. Hey, Bosch, can you do this? Can you do this? And we investigated. We investigated. And then it takes around a two, or three, two or three years. Mm -hmm. And then that was my final job. Fully automation was my last job at the Bosch. Could I get rid of all people from the machine, from the production line? Yes. Because we have technology. Absolutely, that's possible. I can fully automate my production line. I don't need any people because I have a lot. I have artificial intelligence. I have a lot of this technology. Sure. One thing. Possible and they investigate more and they want to network every single production lines with the internet. Fully network. So now, if somebody needs a product, okay, they just simply input the order to our headquarters. And then, should you got machines fully network with all around the world and then. They simply deliver the data, information, and then when they order, make an order in Asia, in China, Changshan. We have a production line in Changshan. In Changshan plant, they produce that amount of products within 24 hours. Possible? Absolutely possible. That means uh, industry 4.0. Who introduced that Bosch from McKinsey? McKinsey has a core competency of business problem solving by using their knowledge. They're experts of the business problem solving research. They are the best of the best idea generation. Core competencies. Okay, so this is the start of the core, the start of the understanding of the competitive advantage. And then we will go more detail. We'll go more detail. And then next week we will talk about, we'll start talking about the strategy formulation after covering the competitive advantage. Okay, good. So far, any question? Oh, make the force. Okay, so we have an exam. Okay, good. Give it and then please treat, 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 treat you, you, and then treat your friends. No, that's fine. Give it. Yeah, treat the cash as a valuable resource. <laughs> Ah. No, no, I'm not kidding. Okay. So, hey. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh,